Here's your host for Bug Tonight, Adam Buxton. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you some videos tonight. We guarantee to make your brain stick like hell. Give your eyes a nice surprise unless you've seen them before. But there's also highly enlightening commentary from the internet community. And of course there's also me. I'm sorry if that sounds smug. Give yourselves a hug. Winner, don't do drug. Thanks for choosing Bug. Hey, how you doing? Hello and welcome to Bug, which, as you can already tell, is Sky Atlantic HD's most highbrow program. <laughs> now, if you've never seen this show before, imagine a combination of Alan Yentob, Lauren Laverne, and a Ponce from a Genius Bar uh, introducing <laughs> music videos at a TED lecture. Now try and imagine that not being so annoying that you want to kill yourself, <laughs> and you have Bug! So, Let's see what's in this evening's suitcase. I'm going to unpack it for you here. I'm uh, genuinely running this show off my laptop. It's a crazy idea, I know, but I can't stop myself. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, a privileged glimpse into my professional life. And let's begin here with a question from a viewer. Why not? I mean, people send me questions all the time, but I thought it would be nice to answer one of them here on a, a show on Sky Atlantic, and this is from Ollie Grant, and he says, Dear Count Buckley's, as a connoisseur of facial hair, do you consider it to be the ultimate symbol of masculinity? That's a very good question, Ollie. Uh, thank you for that. Is it the ultimate symbol of masculinity? Well, it's certainly very important to the Buckley's family. I mean, it was important to my dad to have a beard. Uh, it's something that I want to pass on to my own children. <laughs> And I've stressed the importance of it to them. Is it the ultimate symbol of masculinity? I don't know. I mean, I was curious about that question myself, so I fed all the data I could find about maleness into a supercomputer, and this is what came out. <laughs> it's quite a compelling image, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> that would make a good poster for a teenage boy, I think. <laughs> You. <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of women of all ages would uh, enjoy having that poster too. Um, time now for a music video, I think. Now, a couple of years ago, if I'd said I was hooked on Skrillex, people would probably have thought that I was regularly abusing some kind of oven cleaner. Um, <laughs> I was massively into the dance music subgenre dubstep, the beats, the drops, the wub-wub bass, I simply can't get enough of the dubbing and the stepping. <laughs> and it's also inspired a number of great music videos recently, including our next one for 16-bit. There they are. That's uh, Eddie Jeffries and Jason Morrison there. Jason is, as you can see, hideously deformed, which is, <laughs> <laughs> which is a shame. Eddie just doesn't care. He's sitting there nonchalant with his toot horn. Um, <laughs> the video for their track, Dinosaurs, is directed by Christopher Ström, and I wouldn't recommend snorting oven cleaner before watching it, or ever, actually. <laughs> Here's 16-bit.
The work of Christopher Strom there. Well, we've established how important dubstep is to me, but the question is, how do the online commentary community feel about it? Here's a selection of comments for the dinosaurs video. And we begin with one from Door the Core. Just one of many thousands of very positive comments about that. He says, I would wear each and every frame of this video as a shirt. <laughs> And 316 <laughs> people are giving him the thumbs up there. Thumbs are very important on YouTube. Everyone's after thumbs. And they do all kinds of things just to try and create the perfect comment that will get the uh, requisite number of thumbs and approval from other YouTube users. Dest Sack says, I dubbing love fuckstep. <laughs> Ice cream cone on side. <laughs> Thumps if you dubbing love fuckstep. Winky smile. <laughs> so the answer to that comes from Breen Mate, who says, Would have thumbed you, but you asked for thumbs. So eat a dick. <laughs> thumb whore. <laughs> no one likes a thumb whore, do they? That's the worst kind of a human being, is a thumb whore. <laughs> Guest sack comes back and says, If I eat in a dick, would you thump up me then? <laughs> Ice cream cone on side. <laughs> if yes, thumbs up now! <laughs> Two tiny floating tents. <laughs> to which Breen Mate replies, Picks or didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> he wants pictorial proof of the dick eating. <laughs> DJ Days, the official man for any kind of DJ Days news, says that. <laughs> And beneath it uh, has a little instruction. Press Control F and type six. Now on my browser, if you press Control F, you get this little drop down uh, dialog box. And if you type six, this is what happens. Wob wob. <laughs> nice little bit of dubstep uh, tomfoolery there. And that must have taken DJ Day's official absolutely ages. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very, very good use of his time, I would say. <laughs> and <laughs> other people agree. He's got 161 thumbs for that. Very good effort, DJ Day's official. He would have been delighted with that, I imagine. And lots of people are up to the same kind of graphical thing. There's all sorts of ones of these floating around the YouTube commentary pages. The 445566 says that. And then, fuck, I dropped my bag of Doritos. <laughs> See, you guys haven't seen that one before. Not so Camzy90, who says, For fuck's sake, we've seen that fucking Doritos comment one million times! <laughs> it was kind of cool at first, but after seeing it copied and pasted a million times, I kind of feel as pissed off as the dinosaurs in this video. I hope you got the message. <laughs> Thank you, bye. <laughs> and finally, Lax Commander has this kind of uh, mini playlet for us. So I was listening to dubstep, and then my girlfriend walks in. She, what are you listening to? Me, dubstep. <laughs> she, what's dubstep? She's single now. <laughs> <laughs> Lax Commander would have been happy with that comment. This is what he would have looked like. Cool comment guy. Ow, super cool. Writing my comment on the keyboard. I'm a super cool comment guy. Thumbs? He's a cool comment guy. <laughs> hey, congratulations. You've made it through part one of Bug. Join us after the break for some more Muse vids, music videos, int comms, internet comments, and misc shiz, miscellaneous shit. <laughs> Have a wonderful break. Welcome back. I'm Adam Buxton, and this is Bug, the show with music vids in it. Now, here's a great video by a young man named Sam Bailey for the band Franco Bolo. The video for I Found a Bike Today by Franco Bolo is the story of obsessive bike love gone bad. And according to Sam, the director, it was made for just about the price of a bag of mini cheddars and a pint. But who needs a big budget when you've wangled the services of this guy? Four Lions star Adil Akhtar and his amazing face. This is I Found a Bike Today. 
Ah, oh, sorry about these pop-up ads, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get rid of that. See, that's a proper beer. I found a bike today by Franco Bollo, directed by Sam Bailey. You're watching Bug on Sky Atlantic, which means that you're clever and good looking. <laughs> Time now to take a look at a selection of comments that I came across while watching music videos online this week. It's Commentary Digest time. Commentary Digest. Commentary Digest. Commentary Digest. Yeah. Nice uh, little jingle there for you. <laughs> we begin with a comment for this video, OK Go's classic treadmills video for Here It Goes Again. And uh, this is a comment from Raoul8604 who says, Wow, at first I was like, what the hell is this stupid shit? <laughs> then I watched the whole thing. And now I'm like, wow, that was fucking cool. <laughs> I'm going to watch it again. <laughs> Majestic88 replies to Raoul8604, I bet you have an IQ lower than the average Wu-Tang. <laughs> Raoul's not gonna let that one lie. He comes back and says, go fuck yourself, asshole. I'm not talking e shit with you. So just come to this address so I can personally whoop your fucking ass. One si <laughs> 1623 Beach Road, Northeast Warren, Ohio. Knock on the front door and ask for the fighter. <laughs> Don't mess with Raoul. Here's another video, wonderful video for Chase and Status Blind Faith featuring Liam Bailey. Daniel Wolf's amazing recreation of early 90s raving and all the hedonism that goes with it. And 76 Gaz is nostalgic for those days. He says, I raved my balls off from 1989 to 1997 and never had to deal with any of the alcohol-fueled bullshit of today because everyone was pilled up and loved up out of their faces. Even my son was conceived on ecstasy. Good effort, 76 Gaz, considering your balls had been raved off. <laughs> But Chivez replies to 76 Gaz, Dad? <laughs> 76 Gaz comes back, am I your dad? <laughs> Here is a comment uh, underneath Plan B's video for Love Goes Down, directed by Daniel Wolf. And it's a comment uh, from Kung Fu Mill who says, what is Plan Buck? <laughs> I think he's been confused by the name of the <laughs> uploader there. So Mr. Savage, one, two, three, four, five, explains Plan B is the artist and UK is United Kingdom, where he's from. Kung Fu Mill replies, fuck off, he's Plan Buck! <laughs> What is Buck? <laughs> I, I end quote plan. What is Buck though? <laughs> Fuck off, he's plan Buck. <laughs> Mr. Savage says, no, the artist's name is plan B and the UK is where he's from, jeez. 
fuck off, he's playing buck. <laughs> now, here's a comment uh, that I found underneath a video by Ray Tintori for the band MGMT, wonderful track, Kids. And as you can see there, it features a toddler who is apparently being terrorized by some uh, scary, kind of big rubbery monsters. And his terror looks genuine. Ray Tintori assures us that it was just clever filming, clever angles. He was not genuinely terrified. But there is a lot of people posting negative comments under the video concerned for the toddler's welfare. But here is a comment right now from Mosh to Death 11, <laughs> the 11th of the Mosh to Death clan. <laughs> Uh, that puts the other side of the argument. He thinks those negative comments are overly sensitive. He says, fuck sax. His... <laughs> <laughs> He's not made of glass. <laughs> that's, a... <laughs> that's a good way. <laughs> that's a good way to start <laughs> reasoning with someone. Fuck sex. Um, <laughs> he's not made of glass. Even if he was a little bit scarred, it's not going to kill him. And when he's older, he won't be scared of as much stuff in the future. <laughs> Good. I bet Ur one of these Heath and Safety nutcases that thinks kids need to wear goggles whenever they play concourse. <laughs> Leave the kid alone. He will be fine. <laughs> There you go. Mosh to death says he'll be fine. He probably will be fuck sax. <laughs> and that's it for Commentary Digest this week. Commentary Digest. Commentary Digest. Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I often see my sons playing video games and taunting each other as they do so. Take that, poo head. You're going down, pom pom. <laughs> One of my favorite taunts was the inspiration for a song that I wrote a while back. It's a classic, classic song. <laughs> and it's been specially remixed for Bug and is now accompanied by a brand new video by the wonderful music video and commercials director, Dougal Wilson. There's Dougal on set looking sexy and in command. There's Dougal, uh, that's <laughs> how he looks normally. Um, and he has directed a video for Party Pom Pom. Check it out. My friend Frederick said, come round, I said yes, we can play a bit of Wii, we can play DS, we can play Super Mario Galaxy 2, I tell you right now that I'm better than you, I know this is your house where you live with mum and dad, I know you want to win, and that is very sad, cause I got the tricks, bruv, I got the skill, I've been training pretty hard, and I'm ready to kill, I'm a cold blood plumber, I'm a nunchuck king, when you begin to lose, I begin to see, and here is the thing, the thing that I sing, can you feel the thing from the thing that I sing? Would you like to come to a party, pom pom? Would you like to be my guest? It's gonna be a poo-poo party, pom pom. A poo-poo party is the best. You don't need to bring no presents. And there ain't gonna be no cake. Just bring a wee and you better guarantee that you don't make no mistake. Are you going to come to my party, pom pom? Are you going to be my guest? It's gonna be a poo-poo party, pom pom. A poo-poo party is the best. Enjoying all the humiliation Would you like some more on your daddy's playstation? Hold up a second cause your mommy's coming in Sit the level and wait for the speech to begin What you doing inside? It's a nice day out Go and get the football of a kickabout Nice bit of exercise, that's what you need Or go and get a book, a little lick a read Why you got the city side playing a machine Staring at the plumber on a flickering screen That's not real life, that's just nonsense No wonder all the children now are turning out so dense
to your annihilation. Go, 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 boom, boom. That's it for Bug tonight. Thanks to Dougal Wilson and to all our featured directors and, of course, the YouTube commentators. Hey, check us out on sky.com slash bug. Right, kids? Till next time, take care. I love you. Bye! <laughs>